hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl naza ugala vlogging from umwahia abia state and in today's video i'm doing a much requested video the night life in umwahia i'm taking a drive around umwahia at night to see what happens at night in umwahia if it's something you're interested in watching please follow me to the end if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. And as usual, please don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share this video and give it a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed watching it. So guys, I'm starting off this journey from BCA Road. And um, moving on, I want to see how that place looks at, at night. What happens there? The restaurants that are open. Generally, guys, Umwahia is not known to have much of a nightlife. People here go to bed early and still come out, come out late. <laughs> guys, that's the Latinos bar that we're about seeing. It's a very popular bar in Umwahia. And most people that come to Umwahia always hear of it. They have entertainers here, especially Friday night and so on and so forth so we're moving on after the latinos bar is la the jovitz is a fast food and it just they just opened recently but it has a lunch has a supermarket and also has a fast food it's one of the few supermarkets that stay up quite late i think by 11 p.m you're still going to get them by the way this video was done between the hours of 8 p.m and 8 30 p.m okay guys we're still moving on that's the jovit by bca road moving further let's see if there are other restaurants or if there are other happening joints around this area at night generally these areas are office areas but I think at night something goes on. Let's see. Okay, we're getting to the Roots. Roots Cafe powered by Crunchies. I didn't know they stay up to this hour, but as you can see, they are, they are still up. But going further everywhere seems dark. The street light in Umai are not shining very well. What do you think is the problem? Uh... I think these street lights are solar powered and the day this video was filmed was a very not really sunny day so uh, but the lights are really really low nothing much is happening here no much life no much activities everywhere is dry everyone has gone back to his or her various houses okay we're citing raj hotels raj restaurants now it's close to the sectorate the new abia state sectorate let's see if something happens there at night if there's life there if they're playing any music uh okay 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 yeah is bubbling is bubbling so guys <laughs> This place is bubbling, as you can see. This is just beside the new secretariat. In case you are in Omaha and you want to visit here, just take KK and tell them you want to come down to Raj by the secretariat road. Okay. Okay. that's raj and yes they were playing music but i had to decrease the volume in order to avoid copyright strike and there is also a, a car wash beside it okay guys we're moving out now apart from these places roots hotel jovit raj the latinos around this area nothing much is happening at night so we're going to move inside town now and i think one of the most popular places that bubbles and hustles at night is azikiwe road 
So guys, we're going to visit Azikiwe Road now to check it out and see if it's really happening as said. Okay guys, as we move down, heading towards Azikiwe Road to know exactly what happens there at night, let's let's discuss, let's just gist, guys. Uh, um, they always say that the Umwahans that we go to bed early. And that was the, one of the most culture shocks that I faced when I first left Umwaha. We know here in Umwaha, by 9, by 10, everybody has gone to bed. Shops are closed. Everywhere is locked. You hardly see people on the streets. The streets are empty. But then, on getting to a bigger city, guys, I found that by 12, everywhere is still bustling and hustling and people are still moving from one place to another as if they're not going to sleep. And before you know it, by four, people are still up again. Whereas in Omaha, before you could even meet anybody on the street, it has to be at least by 6 a.m., latest. Even if you come out by 5 a.m., you're coming out by, at your own risk. Do you think it's true? Have you experienced that? Have you lived in Omaha before? Is it still affecting you? Let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know, are you, do you go to bed early? Do you wake up late? Or what happens in the city where you are? Where you are? Let me know. I would love for us to discuss that as we head down to Azikiwe Road. So guys, still joining BCA Road again. We are heading down to Azikiwe Road. That's Jovit that we crossed earlier. We are now turning back and moving. We'll join the main BCA Road again. And then head straight towards Azikiwe Road. Okay. Yeah. This is how BCA Road looks at night. Oh, and... Not really lightened up just there very few street lights even the streets like man not they're not shining well everywhere seems so dark and this is just by 8 pm oh uh, i tried to see if i'll see Mata de cathedral but i couldn't everywhere was just so dark guys it's official we are now in azikiwe road let's look out for the bubbling places uh, here in Azikiwe Road. Moving down, everywhere just seems calm. Cars are moving up and down, people going home. Okay, we're joining Fimbas Road now. Azikiwe by Fimbas Road. And yeah, there seems to be life around this place because of the popular bar known as the place. Here you can see food sellers here. That's the bar by my right hand side. It's a very popular bar too. That is by Adelebu Road, Adelebu Street. Yes, we are now in Azikiwe Road. And we're moving down Azikiwe Road. We'll soon enter Azikiwe by School Road. This Azikiwe by School Road is very, very popular. And as you can see, there's a bit of life here. Shops are still open. There's a pharmacy. There's a supermarket. There's a suya joint. There's elite clothing boutique and so on. Everywhere is still open. And people are still moving around generally. There's a bit of life here. 
Night life in Omaya. This is it too. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's it. We're moving now down to Macaulay Street. But before Macaulay Street, we're going to see the Choice Restaurants. The Choice Restaurants. And as you can see, they're still open. And also a lot of suya joints around here. Shops are still very much open. That's a furniture shop. Um, okay. We're going to make a turn now to the right to see OGK Street. OGK Street. There's a bit of life at OGK Street due to the presence of evergreen hotels. Let's see how that place looks at night. Do they have a bar? Do they have a club? Is anything happening there? Please, if you live in Omaha and you know, let me know in the comment section. Or you've been to all these places during the day or at night. Let me also know. Yes, that's moving down OGK Street. And yes, there is a bit of life here. Yeah. That's Evergreen. Evergreen Hotel, Evergreen Suite, Evergreen Bar, Evergreen, so many things, Evergreen, Evergreen, happens here, guys. Uh, this is one of the best rated hotels in Omar here. And this is by OGK Street. Okay, most of the shops here are closed for the day. They are closed, as you can see. So we are going to turn back from here and head still towards Azikiwe Road. Where we are going to see where else, where else bar. There's where else bar, there's where else club, and um, so many things. This is still evergreen, oh, by the way. We're moving now to see where else. That's DHL office by my right. Okay, that's a supermarket still open as Road by OGK Street. Okay, guys, you can see the where else bar, where else restaurant, where else sit out by my left, shining. There's also where else hotels in Omaya, but it is not at the same location. Where else hotels is along Ecotec Bene Road, but this is where else bar. Okay, guys. We're moving down now and we'll be joining Bank Road to see what happens along Bank Road. Bank Road has a lot of government offices, banks, and uh, very few residential houses. Let's see if the government's GRA is going to look very fine at night. Okay, that's Bank Road, originally known as Factory Road anyway. I'm moving towards the gate of the government house. That's Hofa's restaurant. Almost closed. And guys, here we are at the government house. Omaha. At night. Very dim street lights. 
not showing anything everywhere looking dull no life god will help us so we're moving down now towards Obara Square that is Bank Road at night okay we're still on the move guys yeah Bank Road Let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section. Let me know what you think of it. Is there much of a life ni nightlife in Omaya? Is there anything much happening? Is it different from the place where you are? You can tell me your location and exactly what happens at night, where you stay. And I'll do well to reply you. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe guys subscribe to my channel so that i'll be able to bring you more videos that is still bank road we'll be leaving bank road now and then drawing close towards the end of this video as you can see, if, if I'm asked to rate the nightlife in Omaya, I'll just say it's 5 over 10. Please, can you help me rate it in the comment section? Nothing much happens at night here. Everywhere is dry. People have gone to bed. Nothing much. Nothing really much. Everywhere is almost closed up. Very few cars moving okay that's the former markets as we move further that's the second the choice restaurant in omaha is a bank road yeah and they stay up quite late guys that brings us to the end of this video Thank you for watching. I got some suya before I left. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Songs of Zion As an evening sacrifice, I pray to you.